Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have made another exciting video and it has been a long time since I have made a programming video but today I have something truly special in store for you. I am diving into the world of birds and machine learning combining two fascinating subjects into one incredible project. So buckle up, grab your binoculars and get ready to soar with me into the world of bird species classification. Let's dive in. I work with a high quality data set containing images of 525 different bird species. The data set is meticulously clean to remove duplicate or low quality images, ensuring no leakage is there between the trained test and validation images. And each image is in JPG format and is sized 224 into 224 pixels. One significant shortcoming in the data set that I have noticed is the ratio of male species to female species images. About 80% of the images are of male and 20% of female. Males typically are far more colored, are diversely colored, while the females of a species are typically bland. Consequently, male and female images may look entirely different, so the classifier may not be able to perform as well on uh, female species images. Now that I have um, introduced you my project, I will be share screening my code for number for the number of models that I have made and then we will be running this uh, in stream mode. Here we go. We have the code here. So this is my version one and I have used Keras and TensorFlow mainly for doing the modeling here. And Keras is for building the model and TensorFlow is for the backend operations and Matplotlib is for uh, plotting the training and validation metrics. And then I have defined the image size here. I have printed the TensorFlow and Keras version just to see if it is compatible with my project. And then I have defined the directories in my folder. Next, I've loaded a pre-trained VGG16 model. And for, your, uh, for an introduction, VGG16 is a popular deep learning architecture known for its excellent performance on image classification tasks. And I have excluded the top layer because I have added a custom lens layer for the bird classification. As you can see, I have loaded it here. And then here is the dense layer and I've used softmax activation for classification and this is on top of the VGCC16 base. Uh, this dense layer will uh, output the probability distribution over the different bird species and then I have finally compiled the model with categorical cross entropy loss and Adam optimizer, which we'll be seeing as we go through this code. Now we have come to another uh, important step in our project which is data augmentation and it is very essential for training deep learning models using data augmentation on limited data sets like this. So here I have used Keras image data generator to perform real time data augmentation on the training images. And I have also pre-processed the images by rescaling the pixel values to range 0 and 1. As you can see here. And now I have trained the model using generated batches of augmented data. And I have specified the number of epochs and steps per epoch. After training I have plotted the training and validation loss as well as accuracy to evaluate the model's performance, as you can see. And now once the model has been trained, I've saved it in a file called bc.h5, and this file will contain the trained weights and architecture of the model, allowing me to load and reuse it later. And then finally, I've loaded the saved model and defined a function called output to make prediction on new images. This function takes the file path of an image as input, preprocesses it, and then predicts the bird species using the trained model, as you can see here. So now that I've explained the version 1 to you, I'll be moving on to version 2, where also I have used Keras. Okay, so first of all, I've imported uh, OS so that I can import all the necessary files in my computer. I've started with counting the number of bird groups, and this gives us an idea of how many different species we'll be working with. We know it's 525, but it's a good way to uh, start the project. And then I've set the data directory path, and then um, getting class names. We gather the class names from the subdirectories within our data uh, training directory and these class names will represent the various bird species that we will be classifying according to their images. The third step is viewing a random image. So here we have a function to view a random image from a specified target directory and class and this allows us to visually inspect our data and understand what our model will be learning. As you can see here is the function and then we can view a random image here. And then I've again um, imported all these libraries so I can do the modeling. And I've defined the directories for training and testing it. 
and then I've um, set up the image data generators for training, testing, and validation. And these generators will process the image data and generate batches of augmented data, which are then fed into our neural network models, as you can see here. And we have finally created and trained the transfer learning models. This is the exciting part. We create the train and uh, we create and train the transfer learning models using the pre-trained architectures such as Inception V3, REST Net 50, Efficient Net V80, and Mobile Net V2. Um, but unfortunately, REST Net 50 and uh, Mobile Net V2 and also Dense Net 121 didn't work well with this classification uh, project. Uh, so I have used Inception V3 and the BC.S5 for my version one. And here we have evaluated the performance of each model using metrics such as accuracy, F1 score, classification report, and confusion matrix. And then this gives us insight into how well our models are performing and where they might need improvement. Okay, so now I have explained to you my models and how I've made them. Now we'll be going to talk about the interface that we are using, which is Streamlit. So I've imported all the necessary libraries. Um, we use Streamlit for building the web app. NumPy for the numerical operations and Keras for loading the pre-trained models. Pill is for handling images and Pandas is for working with CSV files. Next, we define two functions, which is load pre-trained model and load CSV. The load pre-trained model function loads our pre-trained model from the bc.h5 file, while the load CSV function reads the birds.csv, where we have the labels and uh, the class IDs, and, ex and extracts them. And then this is the main function to run the Streamlit app. And in the main function, we create the Streamlit app. We set the title, provide a file uploader for the users to upload images and implement the prediction logic. And then finally, we check if the script is uh, being run properly and call the main function to run the Streamlit app. And this will launch our web application, allowing users to upload bird species images. Now we will be seeing our Streamlit app. Here we go. This is our interface where we will be uploading the birds. So. I have a few images. I have stored a few images in my files. I have loaded into our um, program. So let's see this. This is, by the way, an Abbott Babbler. Um, you can search it up in Google just to see what an Abbott Babbler looks like. There we go. We have the displayed image. And it's running. There we go. We have the proper predicted label, which is Abbott's Babbler. Now let's try it with a different image of oh, Abbott's Babbler. There we go. Another completely, not completely, but pretty different image. Let's see if the model can identify this. There we go again. It's the Abbott Babbler. And we have also got the predicted class, which is 94 in our CSV file. Now let's um, use another model, which is the Inception V3 model since we have not used it yet. There we go. And then we will rerun this. Okay. Let's use the fifth image. This is about Spooky and the prediction is completely right. I have um, researched about these words in Google before. Let's use another image. Let's go with this, maybe. There we have a different species, Abyssinian ground hornbill. And this is also a, a proper classification done. This is an Ab Abyssinian uh, ground hornbill. And there we go, there we have um, gone through the process of training and building a classification model for bird species. Stay tuned for more projects like this and I hope to catch you in the next video. So thank you for thank you for being with me today and have a good day.